This video is brought to you by Pokemon Scammers, specifically this one from the Greater Toronto Area, likely Brampton, who we've caught and will go into detail on in this video. Uh, if anyone has information about this bad boy, or can please let him know to turn himself into the authorities and or the Rattle Pokemon Discord, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, any information is 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 a bonus. It's absolutely top notch. So do it. Here's another photo, if you didn't recognize him from the first one. Here's his automobile. It is a Mercedes-Benz CLS Polar White Black Rimmer, you might call it. Uh, and uh, you know what? It probably looks more like this when the photo quality is not so bad. Reach out if you have any info. Please and thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to catch more Pokemon Scammers. Uh, so that we've done a video like this in the past. It did really well. It was really fun. I think it's effective I think it, I think it's a good idea. So essentially if you missed that one link in the description top of the description link above my head uh, If you want to watch that one first or left after it doesn't matter uh, similar concept to the video that we're, we're doing today and that is we are going to We're gonna get scammed on purpose We're gonna get scammed on purpose in order to reveal a Pokemon scammer in the community So we're gonna play dumb uh, we're going to, we, we did a little search here. We found this beautiful opportunity to get scammed uh, with this fake first edition Charizard. Don't worry, guys. I know someone's going to say it. Someone's like, what, what if they don't know that the card is fake? I made sure that they know that the, the, the card is, they knew it was fake, as we'll see. We're, we're going to go through the DMs. Uh, the DMs will be in a, a reenactment for those of you that like the French cowboy evil bad guy. We got that and some cosplay. So look forward to that. It's a real, it's going to be, it's going to be an absolute treat. I haven't recorded it yet at the time that I'm telling you about it, but I know it's going to be, it should be good. Then we're going to talk to him on the phone a bunch. Then we're going to ask him to meet in person where we can identify, we can get some action shots of this absolutely terrible human being. Uh, that way we can warn people uh, about them. Maybe we can identify them. Maybe we can help uh, resolve some other cases if they've ripped other people off. Uh, if you know this individual from the thumbnail or from later on in the video, please do reach out to me. Let me know so we can let the authorities know that if anyone got ripped off with Pokemon cards that are not real, that this was probably the guy. But uh, yeah, without uh, further ado, let's take a look at the listing here. We have a 1999 Hol Charizard Hollow Park Pokemon card. Holy crap, can I speak? Four out of 102 in mint condition. Oh my goodness. If you can't tell this bad boy is fake from a mile away, um, you shouldn't be buying it. But at the same time, we're not victim blaming here. We are the victim in this episode. We're going to be a victim. We are. We're going to be intentionally. Just so that we can meet this person in person. And <laughs> and so that we can have the, the rattle recon squad, as I like to call them, uh, with cameras on deck. So we can, we can record... Uh, this individual who is trying to rip people off for a thousand dollars or just under that very very sneaky of him but more sneaky of us you might say all right here it is fake description message if you'd like any more pictures of course you'd like to provide those pictures let's take a look at the other photos we got that charizard in all his fakeness all his glory uh here he is the uh, not even close to the correct hollow foil the stamp is way off in the wrong position and wrong size uh, also not, not the right font. We got, we got the colors on this bad boy. They're terrible. They're all around terrible. Um, surely he won't say something stupid like he pulled it from a pack, right? He's going to tell us that he got it on Etsy and that he's just trying to, trying to flip it for 990 bucks. Ah, right. More photos of it. Cause, cause why not? Um, here it is. Uh, I should also mention that he had other cards that he was selling. Uh, also looking very fake. He deleted all of those. He is now hiding from us. I gave him the opportunity, as we'll see, uh, to make things right, uh, to admit what he was doing, to promise to never do it again, to right anyone that he has wronged in the past, and uh, we got nothing. So uh, here we have it. We're, we're, we're going to see if the community can't identify this individual, uh, and if he did rip anyone else off, then hopefully that gives the uh, the authorities a little bit more information to go on, a little bit more to uh, to identify and track down this absolute scumbag. So here we have it. Let's get into the DMs real quick. Punch it. All right, here it is. My best attempt at uh, getting scammed. And yes, I am going to poke some fun with him, uh, mostly over the phone, more so than the DMs. I, did, I didn't want to push it too far to the point that he just didn't want to meet or he was sketched out. 
uh, too much, but uh, but here we have it. I say, hey, is this still available? And are you able to meet somewhere public? I I know he's I know he's gonna meet me somewhere public because he, clearly a scammer is not going to want me to show up to his house and and pick this up. Uh, then I'd be able to tell the police where he lives. So clearly it's it's his best option, but I'm making it seem like it's mine so that it's so that he'll meet me meet me at the mall. Yeah, this is available and yes, I can meet up somewhere public for sure. Where would you want to meet? Promenade Shopping Center in Thornhill would be ideal. Would you be able to do a Von Mills Shopping Center? Sorry, but too far. Can you tell here that I'm trying to like make him go out of his way? I want to make sure he's he's going to work for that thousand dollars that he's trying to steal. All right, I can make it out to Promenade Shopping Center. Would you be able to meet up tomorrow? Yes, that works. I don't know much about Pokemon. Is it a good price? I never had the Charizard as a kid and would be so sweet to own one now. Yeah, so there is many different versions of the Charizard card, but this is one of the original ones from 1999. For that version specifically, it is usually over $1,000 on eBay. I am selling on Kijiji for a bit less because I'd rather not have eBay take their fees from how much money I would make. That makes sense, and Canada Post does like to lose packages. The first edition is the, the best one, right? Yeah, the first edition is by far the best one. I think most would agree. And I can meet up tomorrow after 1 p.m. Did you have it for a long time? It's for sure the real thing? Yeah, I actually bought a pack from the original base set from a 1999 and that was completely sealed. And I got lucky by pulling this from the pack. Oh damn, that is very lucky. We got packs as kids but never pulled one and I don't think any of them had first edition on them. I work in the mall and just need to find out what time I will be done. Yeah, very, very lucky. And okay, sounds good. Let me know when you'll be done and I'll swing by. Okay, I should know shortly. Just need to see when the final appointment tomorrow is. Okay, no problem. Let me know. Can you please hold it for me? I do want it for sure. Okay, yes, I will do. I'm gonna take the listing down to hold it for you right now. Just so you know, the card is still being held for you even if there's no longer available notif. Okay, thanks. Looks like I should be done around 3.30. What's your number? I can let you know when I'm almost done work. Yeah, sounds good. My phone number is... Delaware burner phone number here Can give you a call 30 minutes before I finish Yeah, sounds good if I don't pick up and just sir send a text to LMK if I should head out soon Okay, so it is a time. It's time to call the perp. We're going to uh, make arrangements We're gonna let them know that it's gonna be about 30 minutes before we're done work at the mall There was a bunch of like dentist office in there. I was trying to make up some kind of crap uh, and, and go with whatever made sense at the time uh, But uh, this is gonna be the phone call and I know before you guys panic before anyone like loses the crap you, you didn't blur his address out up there. It's an address for Tim Hortons It's not his actual address. He's not gonna put his actual name or address there uh, that would be that would be silly. Why would you do that? I mean, scammers are dumb, but they're they're not that dumb, guys. Come on, give them give them a little bit of credit. Here's here's the phone call. I'm I'm su really surprised that he answered the phone. Uh, I guess this is like more of a, a premium version of the the burner phone, uh, where you can actually answer calls, uh, even though it uh, the the area code was not even close to where it should be. Um, at least I didn't get like a voicemail that says like. Hey, this person that doesn't have a real phone cannot accept calls. Right, here, phone call. Go. Hello? 
Hi. What's what's going on? What's up? I'm. Uh, I just wanted to to check if you're if you're ready to go to the the mall to meet up for the Charizard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm all good. Okay. Um. What I just wanted to check. What uh. What are you wearing? What should I look out for? Um. I'll probably be in shorts and a t-shirt. Okay. I'm, uh. I'm like pretty tall. I'm like six foot three. So you should be able to recognize me. Okay. Cool. Um. Right. Yeah. So, uh, you probably can't miss me. Um. I'm. I'm on crutches. Uh. For the time being, only. Uh. I had a little bit of a ski jumping accident. So. Um, I was, okay, no I was, problem. Yeah, I was yeah. training for the Winter Olympics, but uh, it seems like that's not going to happen. But um, yeah, I'm. Yeah, we should be done probably. Uh, thirty. Thirty minutes. I I would say thirty minutes. Uh, right, yeah. uh, maybe less. Maybe twenty. Maybe twenty twenty five. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Okay. Take me about thirty to get there. But yeah, okay. just text me which like area of the mall you want me to be at. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Okay, cool. <laughs> I should not have been listening to you guys. <laughs> okay, so it's time to, to give him a call back and waste some of his time. Uh, and unfortunately, we ran into a little snag. You can't make this up. As soon as I talked to him and I told him about the crutches thing, and as soon as he was showing up to the building... We, we had a guy on crutches showing up to the building. So I was like, oh my, why? Why did I not say that I was dressed like a pirate or something? Like I had the eye patch and a parrot on my shoulder, some ridiculous crap that would have been a little bit harder to run into. Uh, I, I didn't expect it. The timing was unreal. Y you can't make this stuff up. But regardless, uh, here we're going to tell him on the phone that uh, we're just uh, we're cleaning up right now. I want to waste a little bit of his time. I want him sitting around there for a little while. Uh, you know, being being video recorded uh, for for all that evidence that we need in order to uh, to make sure that uh, if people are ripping other people off with fake Pokemon cards, uh, that uh, that we have a full ID on this individual, uh, and then we can we can we can figure it out. Well, well, you know what? I'm sure the authorities would love to to watch him loitering around the mall, uh, and. <laughs> in order to identify him so some 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 people that were ripped off will be able to say yeah that was definitely the fake charizard g baller that tried to rip me off hello hey what's up it's uh it's jason calling the, the for the charizard we're just uh we're just finishing up here um and uh, i'm just i'm just cleaning up so i'll be down in, in just a few minutes, I I uh, I, also, I also I saw that there was there's someone else there uh, that has crutches, but that's de that's definitely not me. I'm uh, I'm still on the third floor, but uh, I I shouldn't be too long. I'll be down as as soon as possible. All right. Okay. Um. um what? How do you see someone else with the crutches? Oh, just when I was down earlier, there's a guy that's walking around in the mall. Oh, there's okay. Yeah. All right. I, they, I, yeah, I just didn't, I got a, a black hoodie on, uh, and, uh, a uh, red, I'll have a red hat. I don't have it on right now, but I will have one on, but, uh, but yeah, I'll be, I'll be down soon. I'll get, I'll, I'll let you know when I'm coming. All right. We wasted a little bit of extra time there. I mean, he's already gone out of his way. He's, dri he's driven. Uh, it's pretty much traffic, traffic time. He had to drive his ass over to the mall uh, to pretend, you know, or to think that he was ripping someone off. He wasn't. We were just messing with him the whole time, uh, trying not to crack up there and, and tell him some stupid crap on the phone. And now that he's already been, um, <laughs> he's, already, he's already there. He's already committed. He already wants, he's, he wants that thousand dollars really bad. Uh, so we can mess with him a little bit more here. Uh, we're going to tell him that it, we're, we're coming down the stairs. Again, it's going to take me a while, so... Hello. Hi, it's uh, it's Jason again. I'm uh, we're all we're all done here. I'm just locking up, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna crutch crutch my way down. Um, uh, yeah, uh, again, it's, that's the damn ski jumping. It. Uh, yeah, no problem. It's uh, so yeah, it, I'm I'm, uh, I'm all the way on the third floor, so it's gonna it it could take me a few minutes to get down there. And again, my my apologies. 
Um, but, uh, no but yeah. and, uh, I really appreciate you, uh, you coming to meet me. It's, it's a little hard to, hard to get around. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like my, my, the, the skis came right off my feet uh, and my, my legs kind of went in the ground like, um, what a lawn darts, I guess they call them. Well, not, re- not really lawn darts since, uh, the ski jumping, you, you don't do it on grass. It's on snow. Um, but, uh, you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, like, like, so my legs, my legs stayed there and then my body kind of wanted to keep going. Um, similar to, I guess the best analogy is, uh, someone trying to slap a corn dog out of the, uh, the world's strongest man's, uh, death grip. But, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll be right down. I'll, uh, just, just hold tight. All right. Okay. All right, we have made him wait around enough. That's uh, that's 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 good enough. Let, well, let's let's give him a call back here, and uh, let's give him a little bit of a scare. Let's let him know that we know that he's scamming. Let's get a little panic set in. Let's tell him that the uh, the police are waiting for him outside and see what his reaction is. Surely, uh, he has nothing to hide here. He's he definitely is selling a legitimate item. Um, and uh, hopefully, I, I should have this phone call synced up exactly from when he picks up the phone uh, to with the video. Uh, end my phone call with him. So that, that'll that be pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing, right? Hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Are uh, you down? Uh, yeah, I'm down to call you out on your scamming. Oh. Um, not, not very, but not very nice. You should probably, uh, learn from what you did today. And, uh, uh, I don't, what, you don't know what you didn't, you weren't trying to rip me off. I honestly had no idea what you were talking about. You had no idea that you had a fake card and you were trying to rip somebody off for a thousand dollars. No, I did not know that. Well, it's okay because you can explain it to the police because they're waiting outside for you. Okay. All right. Good luck with that. All right. Have a good day. Bye. It's time for a new segment, and this is going to be referred to as the the scammer, the Pokemon scammer walk of shame. We have uh, our boy here, the Charizard counterfeit seller, 69. He's uh, he's walking away. It's weird. There's a lot of very empty parking spaces in this uh, the shopping center, uh, so it's it's kind of odd that he would park that far away uh, unless he was trying to hide his vehicle. Also, do not smoke, even if you're on the Rattle Recon squad. It is not good for you. I would advise against it. Okay, so this is a little game. And let's let's play who can guess what type of vehicle this G Mauler is going to get into. Because we're about to find out. Let's let's turn the action on here. Let's he's still walking. He is He's going. I see the entrance is way back there. So you know, he knew what entrance he was going into, as we discussed on the phone. There's really no reason for him to be parked all the way down there. Which car is he going to go in, guys? Which one's he getting into? Where is he going? Where will he stop? It's like duck, duck, goose of uh, vehicles here. What will he get into? Is he going to get into a, a junk boxer car or is he going to get into something expensive? I guess you guys probably already know because I, I might have mentioned it earlier in the video. For the uh, for the sake of identifying this Pokemon criminal, there he is. He's getting in a nice white vehicle. We got uh, we got eyes on the ground here. Don't worry about that. We're going to uh, we're going to see if we can find out. We can get a better shot of the vehicle. Surely we can. 
It seems the, the Rattle Recon Squad might be colorblind. At this point, they're debating what color the car is. Uh, I think it is pearl white, as they as they call it, at the dealership. All right, anytime now. Vehicle reveal coming up in three, two, one. We get the Mercedes Benz. Is a CLS? Question mark face. A very new one. It seems like it either has a wheel package on it. That's it there. There he goes. Woohoo! Taken off. All right, we got the vehicle identification. We got some nice clear pictures of his face. We've seen his t-shirt, which is apparently Star Wars related. But uh, weird. Why is somebody so? Why does somebody with money? Why? Why are you? Why are you in the mall trying to rip somebody off for a thousand dollars? Shame on you, mother flipper. So, as you guys probably know, there there were no police outside waiting for him. I just wanted to see his uh, his reaction, give him a little scare. Uh, but at the same time, we, we wanted to give him a chance to redeem himself. If he did this to other people, to give the money back to them. Uh, and just basically destroy the, the counterfeit cards that you were trying to sell to people. You didn't pay much for them. You probably bought them on Etsy or whatever. Uh, you, you're going to have to destroy those for me. You're going to have to make it right for anyone involved. Uh, and so I reached him back out. Um, we got, you can see here, he says, Hey dude, the base set packs I opened a while ago were fake. Genuinely didn't know, but yeah, wish you well, dude. Uh, so here he's trying to like get off the hook a little bit. Uh, he's trying to pretend that, uh, that he didn't know that it was fake. Uh, he had other listings of Pokemon cards that he also took down that were not from the same era that were also fake. So, uh, he's full of absolute crap. He's trying to cover his tracks here. Hopefully he never does this again, but also at the same time, I want to make sure that he hasn't done this to anyone previously. Uh, and when you're, when you're going to go and hide, uh, the way that you're hiding, it's not going to work. We're going to find somebody that will be able to identify who you are, uh, and we're going to make sure that you didn't do this to anyone else. Uh, it's fine that you, that you, that you had some little, a little chat with me, um, but we're going to make sure you, you didn't actually steal thousands of dollars from other people. Um, so I did reach out. I said, please let me know if you would like to come clean, destroy your fake cards, write anyone that you ripped off and promise to never do it again. If you do, I promise not to turn all the info, footage, and messages over to the police. Uh, and then the, uh, the, the image that's on there, the, uh, the link that, that goes just uh, a photo of his, of his face to let him know that I do know. Uh, exactly what he looks like. I didn't send him the picture of the car, uh, but we can we can use that to identify him as well. Uh, and again, we're just going to make sure that he doesn't do this to anyone else, that he didn't do anything to anyone previously. Um, and, and that's about it. If he just wanted to cooperate with me on that, that would have been fine. Uh, I figure at this point in time, he deleted this like fake KGG account that has one review uh, with the fake name Ace. Um, so... Well, I did. I did give him one last call here that we'll take a listen to right now, uh, in an attempt to get him to uh, to just write anything that he's wronged, and that's 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 kind of it. Uh, they never want to. Uh, the the scammeronies never want to just like uh, make everything right. I, I and again, I I do have a hunch that this has happened. That he's done this to other people, um, and um, hopefully any of them uh, that uh, that have been wronged, this can help them out. Uh, and uh, and pr prevent this from happening again. So if he's on file, uh, if we send this information over to the police, be like, hey, this guy's scamming people with counterfeit Pokemon cards. If you have anyone that's complaining about someone that did, this is probably the guy. Um, take a look into it. Then uh, I think that's the answer. But here, here's my attempt at getting him to to right his wrongs. Uh, one last chance for you, Ace. One last chance. Here it is. Good day. How's it going? I'm gonna gonna give you a chance here if you if you want it to to redeem yourself. If you'd like if you'd like to chat, if you'd like to if you'd like to make it right for anyone that you've wronged.
Thanks everyone for tuning in. Hopefully this uh, results in less people getting scammed in the future. And hopefully, in, I mean, if anyone was previously scammed by this D-Bag 69, then hopefully we can identify them uh, and help the authorities retrieve the funds that should be back with their rightful owners of the people that thought they were buying awesome, awesome cardboard. And instead, we're funding this guy's Mercedes and whatever G-baller crap that he is into. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one, guys. Look out for each other out there. Uh, we'll have to do more of these in the future. We'll, we'll see. Eventually, people will be so scared to rip people off with counterfeit Pokemon cards that it'll never happen again. Or I will find you, and I will pretend to buy it from you. Remember that. Join the Discord. Bye.